In this how-to video, we'll install a Samson 3730 positioner to a 3277 actuator. Detailed step-by-step -step instructions can also be found by following the link in the video description below. We'll begin by attaching the follower clamp to the actuator, making sure the screw is located in the grooved area of the stem. The clamp is installed with the opening on the right hand side. Fasten the mounting plate to the integrated positioner mount. The narrow side points to the right towards the pneumatic connections. Our actuator is a size 350, therefore we'll leave the follower pin on the back of the positioner at its default location of pin position 35. Fully insert the gasket into the grooved area of the positioner casing. The knob located on the front of the positioner is attached to the linkage. This can be used to assist in installing the positioner. Place the positioner onto the mounting plate in such a manner that the follower pin rests on top of the follower clamp. Secure into place with the two captive screws provided. Confirm the follower pin has been correctly installed by viewing from behind. The rear cover can now be installed. Note, the vent port is always located on the bottom to allow for proper drainage. As our actuator fails closed upon loss of air supply, we can use a connecting block to eliminate the need for tubing between the positioner and actuator. Securely mount the block, making sure all O-rings are in place. Optional gauges can be mounted by removing the two plugs on the connection block. After removing the plugs, the two gauges can now be installed, one for air supply and one for the output signal. The included lock nuts will hold them firmly in place. The positioner is now installed and ready for calibration. We hope you enjoyed this how-to video and thank you for watching.